Labview. A simple application of Labview like this, I'm going to show show you today on basic electrical circuit. The circuit is like this. Suppose I have a DC input voltage ranging from zero to hundred volts and having two resistors R1 and resistors R2 with R1 and R2. Now I would like to tap the voltage here that is output voltage V out. As we know as per the voltage divider rule the output voltage V out is equal to the total input voltage V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 because we, we want to take voltage from here to here. Hence we are taking the voltage voltage input voltage drop across the particular resistor divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2. This is simple circuit and also my problem lies here I would like to vary the resistance from 0 to 100 ohms at the same time I would like to vary my resistance also 0 to 100 ohms. Now for the variable voltage and for variable resistance R1 and the variable resistance R2 I would like to check the output voltage V out. That can that how this can be done with lab view. So that I am showing you here. Open the lab view, double click on blank VA project, lab view will open and press Ctrl T to make the windows perfectly. After which as per the basic requirement you need to have the resistances R1 and R2 and you need to have the you need to have the input voltage V1. So for the instance I am just taking my circuit into consideration that is I have already drawn a circuit so just I am copying this circuit here and I am pasting circuit on the desktop and I am dragging the circuit here. So here the circuit the voltage divider circuit whatever I have drawn I have taken out here where V in is the input supply voltage R1 is the resistance R2 is the resistance V out the output voltage the input voltage is varies from 0 to 100 the resistance is also varies from 0 to 100 ohms and the resistance R2 is also varies from 0 to 100 ohms then I would like to check the output voltage for this just right click on the main window take the numerical indicator or you may take the knob as well so take the knob and right click on the knob go to properties and check the value maximum to minimum 0 to 100 press it ok then you will get all the values from varying from 0 to 100 and uh, re name it as a input voltage after name it just select it and uh, drag it wherever you require if you want to see the output voltage also means how much exactly just go for a digital display So the digital display also kept here like this. Once just you can increase the voltage or decrease the voltage by varying this digital display and even you can change this one. After this you need to vary the resistance R1 as well hence right click again on it go to numeric palette take one more dial take uh, name it as a r1 and it also should be varied from 0 to 100 right click go to properties scale it 0 to 100 ohms ok it 
again you need to also have a resistance R2 so again right click go to numeric take a dial and also take name it as R2 and vary vary from 0 to 100 again make it ok so the resistance R1 and R2 again if you would like to see exact make right click visible items go to digital display hence you can observe here as well how much uh, resistance you are giving again right click here visible items goes to digital display again you can observe here so the input voltage the resistance resistor are all things we have uh, considered here as we know as per the formula as per the formula as you know already that formula is saying that the formula is saying is so the V out is equal to V input into R2 by R1 plus R2 so this one this formula we, have, we need to consider here just write the things here clear uh, clear all these things for time being so just I need to take R1 plus R2 hence I should add resistance 1 and resistance 2 so take the resistance 1 drag here and connect through the wire take the resistance 2 drag here connect through the wire this R1 and R2 is connected and input voltage so V, v in into R2 by so we need to have one more uh, divided, divided by operator so hence R2 divided by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So these two, these all things should be get multiply. Hence, you should take the multiply button. Just keep it here and input voltage multiply it. So you would, you need to see all these things in a voltmeter. Hence, take right click on the print panel again. Go to numeric. Go for the meter and place it here the meter uh, you know already we know that right click it change the properties the maximum voltage let's take 50 volts because uh, the resistance only uh, you take 100 volts in case if it is zero so and you make it a display also digital display is available here now as we as earlier I told you we need to continuously check and monitor the values hence you take the while loop again structures go to while loop keep the while loop everything here and right click on it create a control you can have already stop button here this stop button make you can expand by using this one once your stop button is everything is ready now you let us see how much voltage is there at present I am giving a very small voltage 0.4 volts and resistance is zero hence I would like to check how much voltage will get so just let me run it once I'll run it, the output voltage is 9.96 volts I'm getting. So, if I increase the voltage and if I increase the resistance, I'm sorry, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, the meter is not connected here. That's the issue. I should connect the meter. and make it proper ok now run it again once you run this suppose if I keep the resistance 0 0 and the input voltage I am giving here say 0 and I am observing voltage is nothing just I will increase a, a resistance of at least 10 ohms and input of input of uh, to 32 volts then I can observe no voltage because this resistance is zero hence no voltage suppose if I increase this resistance yes the voltage is increasing the maximum voltage I can drop at this condition is 24 volts if I make it zero the maximum voltage is 32 volts hence by varying the value of by varying the value of r2 the in by varying the value of input you can if you give 100 volts as input 
let's see now here if we give 100 volts as input what will be our output voltage the total voltage will appear across the resistance whatever the resistance value the total voltage appear suppose if your resistance is increased here at the time if your resistance is going on increased here the voltage drop varies so this is the how all these things vary if you want to drag all these things in terms of a graph you need you can also do that stop it right click on it go to graphs take a waveform graph keep it somewhere here wherever it is flexible to you and this graph you connect to the meter and let us see how the waveforms are coming by increasing the voltage let's take only this one if I change the voltage and if I change this thing so some something goes gone wrong here you can again check what's gone here you should keep in the while loop so control B to clear all these wires unnecessary wires so just delete this go to the wire connect to the meter and let us check how it is coming now now run it now 34 volts see here you are observing suppose the same 33 point something change on increasing you can see how the voltage is changes all those things you can observe in the waveform so this is for today and uh, i'll come up with some more applications and step by step process tomorrow thank you for watching